Hey guys, this is the end result of this video. Basically, it's just showing my personal method of upporting or up, up converting uh, Rathledge King M2 files to uh, Cataclysm and higher. Um, yeah, so the weapon I have on right now is the Cataclysm 406 version of this weapon. And I'm doing this to show you the differences between uh, what the uh, Lich, Lich King data has and what, what it's missing compared to uh, to uh, the Cataclysm files. So so things that you upconvert may not always look correct. All right, so basic, basically take note of the uh, the emitters. All right, see, see how it's really bright? And the blade, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a slight luster to it, like a slight reflection or specular on it and such, and it's a little bright. The Lich King, however, doesn't have that, all right, because of how the data is set. So uh, the emitters are uh, are basically not as bright. Also, there's no sheen on the front of here because that's controlled differently in Cataclysm and up, all right. So you, so if you want to, you, you can dissect the original sword and this sword and try to figure out the difference between the two if you want to go that route, or you could just disregard it and just do as 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 you will, all right. Um, but that's the general thing about this video. So uh, yeah, so enjoy and good luck. All right, this is that sword from uh, Lich King. All right, so I extracted it to my folder patch and I renamed it to match the name of uh, of the worn short sword. And because uh, I'm do just doing a model replace just to make things easier and faster. All right, so if you didn't know, uh, by default, uh, Cataclysm should read Wrath Lich King files fine from the get go. All right, there's really no need to to uh, up them. Unless you're doing like for like Mr. Panda or something, but then again, I've only tried this in 406, 434. If if that's what you're using, maybe different. These things might not work right off the bat. But for 406, as you can see, these aren't this this hasn't been touched. Uh, this is green because I believe that's like reflection layer, and in Cataclysm and up reflections or that specular layer is done differently. So anyway, um, if I open these up, which is in, uh, in my uh, uh, folder patch. Um, let's see, the M2 file, what I usually do is uh, naturally make this a 1-0 and uh, make added an, an 8-0 flag to this. So uh, yeah, so put that there and that's the value of 128, but that's the flag for uh, shadows. Okay, and then you're done here. Um, for materials, uh, you, you can do it however way you want, but I would put the easiest way is doing it the wrong way, which is basically uh, copying this whole chunk. So apply the into template if you can, um, and just copy the whole chunk and put it somewhere. So uh, down here, copy this whole thing. This should be all all, all copied. Uh, control Shift C at the very bottom. Uh, control Shift V. Uh, scroll back up to get get to the top so I can get the actual start location. I'm just gonna do a Control Shift A to get the decimal value of uh, of, of the start. Go back to the top. Go to this lo location. Double click this here. Paste that in, and there's the new start location there. So now I just have to go back to that uh, right here, and just go over 476 bytes. So however many you uh, you have. So there's what three particles. I just have to do this three times. So insert. Oh, Insert 16 bytes here, right? And then go forward another 476. Insert another 16 here. All right, and then do that one more time. 476, insert in, oops, insert in another 16. And that's it for particles. Save this out. Skin file, uh, apply them to the, 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 the skin template. Do your thing that you usually do. You know, add the 16 bytes here, and then uh, change your headers to uh, just one size up. Seven, eight, e, and four. Sometimes this helps by changing this to zero. Sometimes that's needed. Um, I'm not sure why, but. Yeah, they, uh, that's just how it is. Anyway, so uh, so if I save these, right, and if I go into the game now, let's see, uh, go here.
let's see, does it show up? It shows up and it's correct, but if, you, if, if I go in game, there's no shadows and the particle's working as you can see, and uh, otherwise it would have not, uh, nothing would have happened. All right, um, so there's no shadows, all right? Uh, I'm not, I'm just going to be doing live updates, so I'm just gonna switch this out. I'm gonna uh, go back into O1O and um, rerun the template so everything changes properly. Uh, oops, all right. Now, what you want to do is uh, get go to the very bottom, like how, like how, however many text units you, you have. So there's four. So at at the uh, at that O3 right right here, I put four sets. The location will be. Where I'm gonna put that set, it's at the very bottom. I'm just gonna do Control Shift A here as well. Copy the start. Go back to the top. Punch it into here. Inside it. All right, and then uh, just go to your text units and just copy them one by one. So this is the first one. So I'll copy the first 12 bytes of this. All right, and uh, paste this in, and then go to the next one. Copy the first 12 bytes of this. It's up here. Paste this in. Go to the next one. Same thing over and over again. So that's it. And uh, yeah, all right, that's it. Save this up, go back in game, put my put the weapon back on, and you'll see that I have a shadow on it. And yeah, that's pretty much that. And then, uh, if you want to have like thicker shadows, oops, so right there, you can see that the shadow is kind of cut, it's kind of uh, you know, diminished. So, if you want something thicker, uh, you have to modify your flags. So, um, so like how these all have this uh, this flags here, this this flag sixteen, this flag zero order, etc. Uh, you just have to change those things up to something else. So right here, this is the f basically the first four bytes. All right, so changes to uh, put it through here. I I like to do one zero zero three and then the order just to zero. So I just like to copy this and uh, paste this in and uh, paste this here. And what's the next one? Right here. Paste this in. Save it. Go back in. Put this, put the weapon back on once you're back in, and you, and I'll have a, uh, a thicker shadow. I put this back on, and as you can see, the shadow's thicker, like it's supposed to be, and not diminished. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, you can change the the, uh, the uh, render flags too if you want. Um, it's 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 a pet peeve of, of mine. It's it's not needed all the time, but sometimes it helps out. Uh, but yeah, all right, that's pretty much that. So good luck, and uh, yeah.